Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me, Zug. So we're going to go over a few bits and pieces from the uh, the comprehensive Ogryn guide, as there seems to be a bit of confusion about the old heavy stubbers. So we're going to go through the blessings and have a little chat about them. So people are wondering why am I using overwhelming fire on the uh, heavy stubber? And it's pretty simple. I mostly play on on the Damnation Uruk, and I've been doing a lot of uh, hard mode, helping people through it. And overwhelming firepower is absolutely amazing for shredding singular targets and bosses and uh, Ogrins, which is why I mostly keep it on there for just gunning down incredibly hard targets. But I also pair it with Death Spitter, which basically gives you a stacking power buff for blowing through anything that's close to you, usually within six to five meters, depending on the size of whatever it is you're shooting. So if it's a bigger target, like an Ogryn, it's six to seven meters. Basically, it's, it's um, model, uh, well, unit size, basically. It changes slightly, but it's about five meters is how it, is where it procs. But overwhelming firepower, yes, it's not great for gunning down hordes because it doesn't stack. And I'll just show you here. Say, so, like a rager horde, shoot one target, it starts stacking. But as soon as you hit something else, it drops. So yeah, not great for blowing through hordes. But if you're trying to blow through an Ogryn, it stacks up very quickly and absolutely shreds them. So it's a trade-off, really. But with Death Spitter, you have the best of both worlds. You have one blessing that is continuously stacking, killing anything, and overwhelming firepower that is just there to help you with hard targets. But if you don't like that setup, obviously you can change it. And you can go for Blaze Away, Inspiring Barrage, Charmed Reload. There are other options. Charmed Reload is not a bad choice. It is still broken. It does not work as intended. And it still doesn't. But it is a pretty decent option. Especially if you've got quite high crit. You can kind of keep that barrel rolling as you're shooting through. So it's it gives you more uptime on being able to fire, which is always good. But if you're trying to do something difficult like hard mode or something like that, overwhelming fire is going to give you that burst ability you need to get the damage on the bosses. So, as I keep saying in the hard mode, but it, it that is generally why it's used. So during that fight, you have to break the shields. So the ranged boss, or the ranged twin, takes increased melee damage. The melee twin takes increased range damage on their shields. So, overwhelming firepower just gives you that extra burst to be able to shred them you need that fight to end as quickly as possible otherwise you will just get overwhelmed and the amount of ogrins and maulers and things in that fight is absolutely ridiculous but i'm not in that fight i'm not using overwhelming firepower to deal with trash it is to blow through those um, heavy armor packs to get back onto the bosses which is why this gun is set up quite weirdly. Reload speed, flak armor, and all that. But you can go with other options, as I said. Blaze Away isn't that bad. It's not great. Basically, the other blessings on these guns are pretty awful. The good blessing is Death Spitter. And for the other blessing, it's dependent on what you want it for. If you want survivability, Inspiring Barrage. If you want a bit more damage just in general, blaze away. 
if you want more uptime and you're rolling it with a burst limit override and lucky bullet child reload is probably quite good i never run burst limit override it's just not very good and especially on more difficult maps you're generally going to be running feel no pain to give you that survivability this node in my opinion isn't great it doesn't add much to it but it does pair well with charmed reload so yeah it, it's not just cut and dry on these blessings really it, it's always have death bitter the other blessing just whatever you fancy but i just wanted to go through my my thought process and why i'm using them because People have been asking us, oh, why are you using overwhelming firepower? It's awful. It doesn't... It's like, yeah, it's it's not for gunning through hordes. Death Spit is for gunning through hordes. Overwhelming firepower is giving you that uh, break point to destroy heavier armor and bosses. And it's incredibly good at what it does, but what it does is incredibly specific. It is not just a general purpose whiz-bang shooty fun it's for killing hard targets, and that's it. But like I said, build it how you like. If you're more comfortable using Inspiring Barrage to give you more survivability, Charmed Reload because you're using Burst Limit Override and you want more uptime when you're shooting, or Blaze Away. But honestly, Blaze Away is not that great. It, it's, it's one of those talents that on paper it looks really good, but it's not super awesome. I mean, if you wanted to pair Blaze Away with Charmed Reload just to give you that slight extra fire power through it, but you are losing a lot of damage by not taking Death Bitter alongside of it. it. It's swings and roundabouts, really. It's how you want to roll the gun. It's all very dependent on what mark of gun you're using and what you're intending to use it for. There is no cookie cutter kind of way to use the stubbers. And I mean, for the love of God, don't use your wrong advance. It's terrible. But there, there you go. That is the, the thought process behind them. Because people were getting very confused. And uh, yeah, I, I was kept answering the comments with the same thing. So I hope this clears up you folks. I really do. And uh, if you've enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, ring that little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And if you fancy it, check out the membership. You get access to the members only Discord. Uh, you get a first look at some of our secret series, and you get access to emojis and a monthly prize draw. So, you know, it really does help to support the channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching, take it easy, and I shall see you later.